Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so uh, this is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising, a weekly tarot reading October 7th to October 13th, uh, 2019, and bear with, uh, with me just a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we, can, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, that is going to be the Ace of Cups, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Knight of Swords, followed by the third one which represents the uh, positive aspect of the week for you Virgo, and that is going to be the Five of uh, Swords, and then the last one, uh, that will be the Page of Pentacles which stands for the... Uh, for the guidance i'm sorry guys i have something in my eye oh my god all right okay awesome so uh before we pick up the reading apart let's run the cards one more time so again the topic and of the general theme of your week is going to be the ace of cups followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome oh my god that eye that is going to be the uh, knight of swords uh, followed by the next one, which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week for you guys. That is to be the Five of Swords. And then the last one, it is the Page of Pentacles, which stands for the guidance that Tarot have for you. All right. So, um, Ace of Cups is going to be catalyzed by, cross your fingers here, and we do have the Seven of Wands, a passive enemies. And the, in these passive enemies, it looks like that you do hard enough of it. It's, it is as simply as that. You do hard enough of it of whatever that is, you know, poignancy into your relationship or despondency into your career. It doesn't matter. But the thing is that uh, this week, instead of uh, being stressed out about those uh, unpleasant uh, circumstances, uh, you are to, how can I say it? Uh, well, let's say that you are to understand and also realize that these concepts you have and these goals you also, that you do have right now, uh, they need to be reshaped a little bit. So the old concepts and old goals are going to, are going to be no, are, are not going to be relevant anymore. Now I want to make a point here and in notes that we are talking for a, um, a milestones type of goal. For example, your goal of to be in a relationship should stay, but your goal of necessary be with this one in a relationship should go if it is the one that you, were, that you are fixated at right now makes you feel miserable, right? And 
this uh, this will come to you very naturally. I mean, you don't have to fight for it. What I mean is that you don't have to push yourself not to be with a specific person or not to be in a specific job. That will be uh, almost a self-imposed, like a uh, like self-realization, and that itself is going to lead you to a deep content contentment throughout the week. All right, and you are going to start feeling that finally, 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 your dreams actually can start manifest it is very early to be said we're talking about the ace of cups and with every aces it's about a new beginning so are they gonna manifest it's hard to be said especially in general reading but at the very least you're gonna feel like it and that itself is gonna allow you to experience to have an, an extraordinary experiences throughout the week meaning you're gonna find joy joy into everything you do and that itself is going to transcend your reality. You are going to understand there is no point, all right? There is no point fighting for something or someone that does not want you or it, it, it does not belong to you or it's not appreciating you, okay? It's just even if you win the battle, you lose the battle anyway, all right? Because it's just, it's just how it is. So, um, additionally to that, these two cards here says that um, you are going to give, how, how can I say it, um, you are going to care less for what people think of you, I want people to talk about you as well, because those people are going to be in the past from now on and they are going to stay there and they are going to be forgotten as well. So do not hold grudge into those small souls that are trying to make you feel bad, that make you feel undermined as well, that make you feel worthless. They they don't worth it, all right? Just, just focus on your future because, like I said, this week it is where you are going to start, start transcending toward, like I said, a deep contentment and hopefully that will lead you to the so much needed change, an impending change, which is going to overflow your heart with joy. And when you see throughout that joy, nothing will look the same. As a matter of fact, it's going to be transcended into a much better reality. So we go to the next one, which is the challenges. And that is going to be the Knight of um, Swords here. And it is catalyzed by the Seven of Cups. So I want to give it to that person because that is a person that they have a good intentions and they are courageous, but that courage is for the worse because their understanding of the surrounding, it is not accurate. I mean, they, they, they do kind of like have, well, let's say that they do believe in fallacies and they do not think twice in regards to what the truth really is. So the way that I see these couple of cards, Virgois, is that that could be a companion of yours, that you really want that companion to take part of your new life or of your new transcend reality. But for one or another reason, they aren't going to fit very well in it. It's, it is because they, they simply have a different understanding in regards to the reality in general, okay, and into life as well. But... Uh, that should not be a prerequisite in between you and that person to build up a, a big wall. They, st they, they still can be a, um, in use of you, uh, in use of you. And it's because it is clear by these cards that they do love you at least as a friend, okay? And they really um, hold on into you or kind of like they count on you or you can count on them the way you want to say it here. But the point is, is that this person is way too reckless. That, that's the whole thing, okay? They, these cards are a active neutrals and they tend to daydream. And um, it's uh, when they don't have the argument of how that dream is going to become up, uh, is going to come up real or, or okay, or is going to manifest, they forge that argument. In other words, they... Um, uh, fallacying it, if that's a word, all right? Kind of like imagining it. And uh, while it's it's not real. 
and uh, yeah, the, the whole challenge here is to maintain the good, uh, the good connection and the good relationship with this uh, friend of yours, I suspect, all right, without hurting their dignity and uh, in, in general without building AOO, even if your parts are going to kind of drift apart a little bit. So that leads us to the next one, which uh, represents the positive aspect. And we do have the Five of Swords catalyzed here by the Ten of Cups another active neutrals it is what we do have so uh you're gonna quickly start uh, realizing that uh many around you are are actually a fake people they they just don't they just don't worth it in general and uh also you may come to uh, re uh to understanding that there are those who are misusing their power over you because you are either a kind person all right or because either you cannot let them leave them behind and etc etc the whole point of these cards <clears throat> is that you're going to start identifying who is making you feel good and who isn't and you are not going to have any remorse nor a regret that you're going to choose those who make you feel good and that makes you feel protected in general over those who aren't. They're one that your conscience is going to be clear. This is what I'm trying to say here. Additionally to that, these two cards are uh, pointing to, uh, I don't know how to say it really in English, guys, uh, and I'm, I hope you aren't going to mock at me about it, but it's more like a, a person who is, uh, you are going to have that property, a person who is willing to uh, give up on something for the greater good, for the greater benefits of oneself further into the future, right? To to give uh, to give up from a small benefits because uh, further into the future on those small benefits a a bigger benefits could stand, it, and that speaks for some calculative uh, manners. But above everything else, these two cards here are pointing that your realization is gonna start. Um, adopting that standpoint that you do deserve more, all right, and that you can go for more, all right, that you you simply didn't do it up until this point because you allow people to hold you back, okay, and that will be no longer after this week, October 7th to October 13th, 2019. And uh, the last one, which is the guidance here, we do have the page of uh, pentacles with a fantastic catalyst of the hangman. I can't get any better in this follow up, really. It is because the page of pentacles, it does really point to uh, the uh, efficiency of, of your investment as time, as effort, you know, as, as attitude as well. And also these two cards as a passive friends are pointing that you are gonna be strong, guys. I mean, strong in patience, strong in, in, in clamor into, uh, into the breakthrough that it, it is bestowed upon you because this is what happens here, a breakthrough that besieges you and you just have to let it in, all right? You just have to let go of the old concepts like I said of the old people of the old jobs that you may be secretly hoping that you're going to regain and look through the future because as a guidance these cards are saying that this is a breakthrough yes but it but it is also a test it is a test meant to for you to show how much you want it and how much you're willing to pay for it and how much you're worth in general, okay? And only thing you gotta do to pass the test is to show willingness that, or kind of like, how, how can I say it? To show determination that you are willing to let the new in and let the, the old go, right? Or let the go out, let the old out. As simple as that. And additionally to that, you need to give it time a bit, all right? It's not gonna happen overnight. I mean, the breakthrough, the new concept, and the overflowing joy as well. Um, <clears throat> you, you really need to give it a time. But uh, as a guidance, these cards are promising that the skies darken that you are walking under right now, they're gonna be put into light again. And like I said, nothing will look the same when, uh, seen through, through the overflowing joy that is going to fulfill your heart.
So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly tarot reading. I think it is a fantastic week for you guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around, I hope. And until then, bye.